Hey Siri, lock the door. Hi, I'm Rich Brown for CNET. I'm here with Schlage, Chamberlain, and iDevices, and all these guys are showing off their new smart home devices that all work with Apple's HomeKit platform. So I just showed off Schlage's forthcoming Sense Lock. Uh, this is a deadbolt complete setup here. Uh, we actually saw a mock-up of this at CES. This is a late beta version. It's gonna be coming out uh, in the fall for about 239. Um, it has a lot of features kind of common to most uh, other smart locks. You, know, you can control it remotely with your phone by hitting a button on the phone. Uh, or now you can use Siri to lock and unlock your door. So then here we have the Chamberlain MyQ garage door opener, and here's the Chamberlain MyQ garage, which is an accessory you can put onto your existing opener. And uh, now these are both in the market. We've reviewed them both already. They're, they're solid products. Uh, new to these, though, is the HomeKit functionality where you can talk to Siri to open your garage door. Hey, Siri, open the garage. So this is the last product we're here to see today. It's the iDevices Switch. This is a $59 smart plug. We saw a mock-up at CES. Uh, it has some basic smart plug functionality if you're familiar with that idea. Uh, you, know, you can control anything you kind of plug into it remotely. This one, though, is one of the first that has HomeKit support. Uh, it will be available in Lowe's actually later this year, which is going to be new uh, for iDevices and for Lowe's to have uh, that product in that store. So that's kind of interesting also. We've seen a few HomeKit compatible products already. Uh, these are three more though. They're not gonna be on the market just yet. We've got a little bit to wait, but it's very clear that the HomeKit initiative is growing and it's definitely gonna make its presence felt in the market before the end of the year. So I'm Rich Brown, I'm here with Schlage, iDevices, and Chamberlain.